Hey everyone, I made this video just for Paula, because Paula loves Portal and Cake so much. So, Paula, if you haven't checked out Portal yet, you might want to, because you have a penchant for storytelling, and Valve actually does a superb uh, job with narration, uh, video game narrative. They really do a great job with that. Uh, and uh, Portal 1 and Portal 2 is probably two of their best examples of, of their storytelling that they do, their narrative in a game. We have a silent protagonist in Portal 2, well, 1 and 2. But in Portal 2, we have the silent protagonist. That's you. You're totally silent. There's no dialogue. Uh, from you whatsoever. And then we have Gladys, who you just saw on this loading screen. And then we... we you have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. So, I think you can tell already, um, I'm going to compare this, you're probably going to hate this comparison, or love it, the, um, I find a certain bit of wit and charm and snarkiness in Portal 1 and Portal 2 that I find in, you know, like Firefly, some kind of Whedon-esque or even other non-Whedon shows like Reaper. So, uh, yeah. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. This Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. At any time? Someone to have exercised his or her Hello? Remain in ah! ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. That robot, we Weasley, or I forget the name of him, but uh, he has great uh, all right, down there. parts. Can you hear me? A lot of great dialogue. Most test subjects them. do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. OK, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. OK, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. It really is a, just a journey through a, li hey, look, a great little movie. To you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. 
course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Right, see, now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that. you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1... So, this is it. It's basically a puzzle game. New and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Here, here is where the, the lore of the companion cube came from. They, Gladys tried to make you fall in love and develop a, a, an attachment to your companion cube, and then she tried, then she forced you to kill it, incinerate it. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Things are in dire straits, obviously. Aperture Laboratories. Doing science. Having if you fun. feel liquid running down science. your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Wow, oh, ouch. Ouch. Emancipated the ear tubes inside my head. Oh. See, this, this is obviously overrun. This stuff was in, had seen better days, uh, and then these were test, old testing facilities. You can see there, the big, different big jiggers. Uh, we need to get into the cube, cubiness. 
need in there first, right? Right? We need a companion cube over here. See how now this is your first taste of a puzzle. And they can get pretty tricky. Yes, they can. Very tricky. This is a uh, example of how to just around, do this, see here, and then push this up, whoops, and then we will go through here, and drop it here, and then we shall finally enter the exit. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> See, they hinted at that a lot of time passing by. You don't know exactly how much time passed by between the events of the first game and the second game. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Uh oh. We just lost our instructional voiceover. Now, we're off. We might be on our own now. Oh man. Hey, hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, we're in trouble now. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. <laughs> I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you we're in an hour, hopefully. Not, we're not we're sure not what happened here. I, I... I think they're worshipping it. Now we have the power. This first little part is almost over, and then I'm going to end it as soon as we're done here. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. <laughs> one copy to share. So, see how we're burning. Whoops. Back here. I think we have to earn our, uh... Our set, our intro and extra. If you feel that a legal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Well, well, being oppressed. Okay, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh boy. When you see a loading screen, you know something's up. You know that a, a climax or the next the next big thing is is upon you this next test is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death smooth jazz will be deployed in three two one <laughs> see they do a really excellent job you have to, if if you watch this long if you're even still watching this fall up We need to get that to the boy. The 
story is the central focus. Obviously, it's amazing. Now this gets a little trickier. This is actually a tutorial, but they do it so well, it's kind of like blends seamlessly with the story and it's not jarring and separating you and whatnot. So, watch this. Oh, I shot it under. Tricky, 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 huh? Oh, now what? What possibly be the dealio Bob now? Oh, how about this? Wham! Uh, I can actually pull it right through. See that? Great work. Because this message is pre recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh, there I am. I can see myself. Crash. Going up. Okay, now see here? We're gonna take a little detour behind the scenes. Normally, you'd never know this existed. Well, oh my goodness. Unreason. And a cat. That cat is unreasonable. If we can't. Now I have a really bad feeling about this. Really, really bad. I can feel the badness of the feelings. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. That's helpful. Oh boy, these are shields. These are portal shields. Watch this. Oh my goodness! Okay, this gets a little tricky, see, make it, this is just the beginning of the game. This will get you accustomed to thinking in portals. Thinking with portals, that's what they say. Now you're thinking with portals. You need to find the... Let me see what I can see. Oh, there's the there's the containment cube over there. And physics works in this game as well. So if you were on the floor and I jumped out of here, then make another hole, you actually build up inertia. So we need to come over here, hope we don't die, Mock. get our companion cube out here, we come up, wait from there, now, now we're cooking, now we are cooking. Wrong one, we need to drop another one. Oh no! Oh, come up there. See how it was thrown out? Because it had all that inertia build up. We need this one. Is that one? No, it's not that one. Oh, that's what we need to do. Drop that. Open that. 
there we go. See? Take that. Aha. We've got a little glitch going on there, don't we? That's not cool. Very uncool. Now we can set this here. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Well, that's good to know. 1.1 gigawatts? 71... What's the amount of gigawatts they use? This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> See? Funny. That was funny. You have to... That made you laugh. You know that made you laugh. That's protected. That's total proof glass. Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna take a nose dive, and it's gonna be scary, but we're gonna do this. We can do it. Check it. See? We came out and we're thrown all the way here. Like magic. Now, we can. And then we can. Now we have to do this over again. With our. With our, um. We're gonna make a portal. Well, and then we gotta carry our companion cube with us. Come on, companion cube. Excellent. If you are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Testing is the future. There's that ominous sound. Now, we need to get through this to the climax. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to zap there because we'll leap across to get our companion cube. See, just like that. The music is great in this game as well. Seriously, it's awesome music. Now we need to we need to drop that to look around. We need to leap from there, I believe, to go all like that. Just like that, the sound effects and everything. Here we go. Blammo, blammo, see? We did it. Nothing to it. Whoops. Something to it. Oh yeah, we need to do this again. I think we need to be over there. Cause we gotta land on that platform. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. <laughs> That's so awesome. Alright, we're almost to the climax and the finish of this. You know you're still watching. You, you like it. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. All oh, safety has been disabled. Uh oh, uh oh, something's not right here. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the. Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. 
Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow! Bye! I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. I lost the stick on the wall. There it is. Go on, just... Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While well, your back was turned. Take me and off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just, hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. We... Somewhere we should not oh, be. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. We've delved into the depths where we do not belong. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Right now. This was the last boss fight in Portal 1. You come through this, but this is all nice and shiny. And you come, you know, and you can see through the glass much better. And, you know, obviously not in a post-apocalyptic disarray. And then you come through here. Okay, I'm gonna leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. Home we go. And this was all clean and had equipment around, and now it's obvious. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. Yes, this was the final place we confronted Gladys. The first one. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Now we're in the uh, belly of the beast. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. 
Let there be light. That's uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving us. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a pass. Okay, it's now good. Now we're in not trouble. A not a problem. Um, a a a a a. Um, a a a a a. Wait, did I do beat the jump heads? Not writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. It's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Dun, dun, dun. And there's Gladys. This is roughly where we're going to end our first video. And maybe only video, I don't know yet. Look how far downward we're falling. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. How big is this installation? How crazy is it? Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Oh boy, it's nasty. So that concludes the video, and I know you love this ball. I know that this is something now that you just, you just can't, you can't uh, fight off the, the urge to play any longer. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Adios.